Hi guys, welcome back to another Creative Tap tutorial. Now we're going to be diving into After Effects today and I'm going to be showing you how to make your keyframe animation a lot smoother with something called Easy Ease Keyframes. Really simple technique, so let's dive on in and have a go at this. So this is what we're going to be creating in this video tutorial. We're simply going to be using Easy Ease keyframes to get this pendulum swinging with a nice sort of slow Easy Ease each end, okay? So all you need to do to get started, I'm just going to delete these, is you want to go to File and Import File. Um, you want to navigate to your Adobe Illustrator file, which you can download as part of this tutorial, and just select Grandfather Clock and click Import and make sure that you import this as a composition, okay? It'll give you a menu, and it may have said on the dialogue screen, but just make sure you import it as a composition, not as footage. Okay, and then just click OK. So then I can just double click this grandfather clock by here, and it'll open up my composition where I've got my background, the back of the clock, the pendulum, and the clock face, okay? All we're concerned about here is the pendulum. So. If I want to animate the rotation of it, swing left and right, hit R on the keyboard, and you can see when I play around with this, it's actually animated and rotating around the center, and that's because of our anchor point. So all we need to do is solo the layer, grab our anchor point, and put it to the top, because this is where we want it to swing around. And just to snap it to the top, you could hold Control on your keyboard, and it'll snap, okay? Next thing you want to do is, I'm going to unsolo the layer, I'm going to bring this, alter this rotation value so it's all the way to the side. So I think minus 14. So swung all the way to the side. Or actually minus 12, I think I'll do. There you go. Cool. I'm going to set a keyframe. Then I'm going to come forward to one second. And I'm going to set a plus 12. So it'll swing 12 degrees in the other side. Now I've got an 8 second composition. If your composition is too long or too short, just go composition, composition settings, make sure it's 25 frames per second, and you can change the duration here. Mine's 8 seconds by default. So anyway, now that we've got this one swing, this one swing from minus 12 to plus 12, what we can do now is simply copy and paste these keyframes. So I'll select them both, hit Control c or Command-C on a Mac, come to the 2 seconds, paste them, Control or Command-V, 4 seconds, do the same, and do the same. Okay, I'll come to 8 seconds and do the same. Great, so if I play this now, you'll notice we've got an animation, and as the pendulum gets to each side, it's almost like it's hitting a wall because it has a very sudden stop. It doesn't slow down and then regain speed, okay? It's almost like it's knocking against a brick wall each side. So, in order to create easy ease keyframes, I'm going to select, so click and drag over all of my keyframes. That'll turn them blue. Then you can right click and go to Keyframe Assistance, Easy Ease, and just click that. You can also hit F9 on your keyboard. So now when I play this back, you'll see that it's not looking like it's hitting a wall each side. You'll see it's actually a bit smoother when it go when it animates left to right. So that is the basics of creating Easy Ease keyframes. Um, I hope you kind of picked up some stuff here. I hope you learned stuff from this, and I hope it helped. And I'll see you in a future video tutorial.